Hey everybody, Dr. Jesse Morris here. Hey, today I wanna to teach you a little bit about vitamin D. We're gonna talk about why it's so important for the body, and if you're gonna supplement vitamin D, what's the best way to take it? What's the best way to actually get it into your body? So vitamin D is this essential nutrient. It plays a really key role in regulating calcium. It plays a really important role in the immune system and in the function of the gut barrier and blood-brain barrier. Um, when it comes to immune function, uh, vitamin D is a really important anti-inflammatory, so it really modulates the inflammatory response of the immune system. And it's really important to in making sure our immune responses are not too weak or too strong. And you can think of it less as boosting the immune system and more as kind of fine-tuning our immune system responses. And there's actually been a, a, a big amount of research done uh, in relation to vitamin D in COVID that has shown that having low vitamin D levels really predisposes people to having more severe outcomes, worse cases, and that kind of thing. So the other really important function of vitamin D is in the barriers, right? So the gut barrier and blood-brain barrier. And it's really come to light in the last uh, number of years that disruptions in the gut barrier, i.e. leaky gut, and disruptions in the blood-brain barrier, or leaky brain, um, are really major factors in the development of many chronic diseases that we're, we're seeing a huge rise in today. So uh, we know that vitamin D is super duper important for the body. Um, and then the question comes up, how do you know if your levels are adequate? So the best way to know is to actually test it, right? To do a blood test and measure the levels of vitamin D. And you know, vitamin D is a pretty basic lab test. It's pretty affordable. Uh, for example, when I run uh, order vitamin D through LabCorp, I think it's $40 and uh, 45 cents to, to get that test done. One, one thing I wanna mention about lab testing is there's, there tends to be this disconnect with certain lab markers around what the lab shows is an optimal or a normal range and what research shows is more optimal for a proper function of the body. Uh, when it comes to vitamin D, uh, vi deficiency, vitamin D deficiency is typically defined as having levels less than 25 nanograms per milliliter, right? But really to have optimal function of vitamin D in the body, you want your levels be between 60 and 70 nanograms per milliliter, right? So you can see there's a disconnect there between having levels at 25 versus 60 to 70. So I just want to have a little sidebar about, about testing, okay? So let's say you've gotten a blood test, you've determined that your vitamin D levels are low. The next question is how do you raise vitamin D levels, right? How do you get them back up to an optimal level? It's a super important nutrient. How do we make sure it's at the right level? Well, you can get some vitamin D through diet, not a ton. Um, really the major two ways that you're gonna raise vitamin D levels are either sun exposure or supplementation. And, you know, unfortunately, the reality of our modern lifestyles is that it's pretty unrealistic that many of us are going to get enough sun exposure on a regular basis to really raise vitamin D levels. So then supplementation actually becomes somewhat of a necessity. So then the next question comes up, if you're going to supplement vitamin D, how much, right? How much do you take? Um, and I really always think it's best to work with a practitioner who can help you monitor that and fine tune that. But generally speaking, if, you, if your vitamin D levels are really low, somewhere in the range of 8,000 to 10,000 IUs per day supplementing is a pretty good dose to get your levels back up. If your levels are pretty good to start with and you just really wanna maintain a nice, good, adequate vitamin D level, somewhere in the range of 2,000 to 4,000 IUs per day is a pr typically a pretty adequate dose. So. The next question that comes up is the thing that I really want to share with you is how do you take it, right? What's the best way to actually take vitamin D? As it turns out, taking vitamin D in capsules, which I actually recommended that on a previous video a year or so ago, so I'm, I've, I've learned since then. Um, it turns out that taking vitamin D in capsules um, isn't actually absorbed that well. We don't actually absorb and take in very much of it. It's actually, it works a whole lot better to take a liquid um, emulsified vitamin D underneath the tongue. 
Now, the under the tongue is the important part. Okay, so if you take liquid vitamin D and you just drop it on your tongue and swallow it, it's basically like taking a capsule. But if you take liquid emulsified vitamin D in the dose you're supposed to take and you drop it under the tongue and hold it for 30 to 45 seconds, you actually absorb some of the vitamin D directly into the bloodstream under the tongue without having to go through the digestive tract. And it turns out when we absorb it that way, it's a lot more efficient and we're able to raise vitamin D levels and keep them where they want to be uh, much quicker than taking capsules and having to try to absorb it through the digestive tract. So under the tongue, hold for 30 to 45 seconds. That's the jam. So one final thing I want to say about vitamin D is, you know, for, for whatever reason, if you can't get tested, you don't want to get your levels tested, but you still want to take vitamin D, you know, a small dose somewhere in that 2000 to 4000 I use per day range under the tongue, hold for 30 to 45 seconds. It's, that's a totally safe, adequate dose to just keep your levels somewhat bolstered, right? If you want to really know, if you want to actually test it and know what your levels are so you can fine tune it, just let me know. Like I said, it's a really simple uh, basic lab test to order. It's $40.45. Um, and then once we know your level, we can really dial in your dosage and monitor it over time to make sure it's staying optimized for you. Um, so listen, I hope this is really helpful. I hope you got some better insight into vitamin D. It's a really, really important nutrient. And in the age of the pandemic and COVID, it's really come to light how um, it's really emerged how important it actually is. Um, so hope this is helpful. Um, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you soon.